Hi there. After a spell of warmer weather at the beginning of last week, much of England welcomed heavy rain and thunderstorms. So I thought we'd start this week's video by taking a look back at the radar estimated rainfall accumulations from the last week, from last Wednesday to right up until today. And you can see quite a stark contrast from the northwest to the southeast. In particular, the southeast widely, many places seeing above 20 millimetres of rain, that's those orange colours and above there, and places to the south of London close to 100 millimetres of rain. Um, over the last week. So quite wet here, lots of heavy rain, lots of thunderstorms at times too. But as we go further northwest, things were quite different. Many places um, not really seeing more than five millimetres of rain and even the white places indicating that some places stayed dry all week. So it really was quite a split in conditions last week. But let's see if that's set to continue by taking a look at the jet stream, which is currently meandering to the north of Europe. But you can see there's these little areas, these little jet streaks that are getting cut off and these will act to sort of spin up little areas of low pressure as we go over the next couple of days and start to drive a little bit more unsettled conditions towards parts of Western Europe. So a little bit unsettled at times but also plenty of space for high pressure to build as well. So let's take a closer look at the forecast then, starting with tonight. We have currently got a ridge of high pressure extending across much of Britain, so it does tend to bring us some settled conditions. We have got this warm front starting to push spells of rain into Scotland and Ireland as well, so becoming slightly more unsettled here. Quite a wet night expected overnight for many places. However, under the ridge of high pressure here, skies will clear, winds will be light, there is the risk of a few mist and fog patches, and maybe, just maybe, the very odd touch of light grass frost in a few rural spots so something to bear in mind as we go through tonight um, and you can see that front just edging its way southeast and that will continue into tomorrow more um, tomorrow and through Wednesday as well so spells of rain continuing to affect parts of Scotland and Ireland and maybe northwestern parts of England and Wales as well while elsewhere under the ridge of high pressure things will generally stay dry through the day with plenty of sunny spells now, as we go into Thursday, you can still see that front there, sort of weakening feature um, as it moves southeastwards. That will continue to move southeastwards, bringing spells of showery rain uh, progressively as we go through the day. However, southeastern parts do look like they'll start bright and there will be the last place to see that rain as that band of showery rain moves southeastwards. We've also got this cold front, which will start to push into northwestern areas as the day progresses. So bringing some slightly heavier and more persistent rain to these places as well. Now, as we go towards the weekend, so Friday and into Saturday, this area of low pressure looks to become slightly more dominant. Um, so shifting ever so slightly southwards as we go through Friday and Saturday, you can see there's plenty of spells of rain and showers in there too. So becoming quite unsettled as we go towards the weekend. But there will be a few drier and brighter intervals in there too. So if you're looking to get some spraying done, the best chance is over the next couple of days under this ridge of high pressure, you can see lots of green colours there showing ideal spraying conditions, light winds and dry conditions. Now as that area of low pressure does develop to the north and then slowly meanders southwards with rain becoming more widespread, you can see less of those green colours at times over the map, but there's still a few patches in there indicating there will be some spraying windows in there. So the best, best thing to do if you need those spraying windows is to speak to our forecast we're here every day between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and we just love to take your calls. So please do give us a ring on 09065 777675. Calls cost £1.55 a minute plus network access charges, but let me tell you, it's very much worth it, particularly at this time of year. So let's take a look a little bit further ahead into the sort of last part of the weekend and the early part of next week. And you can see that area of low pressure has now moved southwards, becoming centered close to Southern Britain. So perhaps continuing those slightly more unsettled conditions across southeastern parts where rain could just linger a little bit longer. Once again, singling out southeastern England as maybe something that could see a bit more wetter conditions. However, elsewhere we have got this ridge of high pressure extending across from the southwest so bringing it back to the more settled side of things uh, for many places here so looking quite similar to the radar map I showed you at the beginning of the video. Now as the week progresses there is a little bit of uncertainty as to how this area of low pressure will uh, 
react as we go through the week ahead and whether high pressure stays dominant or not. So let's take a look at this ensemble forecast for potential water gain or loss. And you can see here a lot of the ensemble members are trending towards this uh, water loss kind of scenario where things turn a little bit drier than average. And you see that red line which is showing the average of the ensemble members is below zero millimetres so that indicates a water loss as we go further ahead. But you can't ignore these ensemble members which are going going for the water gain side of things. So from Thursday onwards really, um, Thursday, Friday onwards, with the potential for showers and spells of rain, some of them have got quite a lot of rain going in them, and particularly um, as you go into the sort of early part of next week as well. So quite a lot of spread in the results, and that shows there's still quite a lot of uncertainty in the forecast and how it will behave as we go towards next week. So it's definitely one to keep an eye on. You can see here with the monthly forecast, it is going for the drier side of things, with these red colours indicating higher than average pressure. So this is going for a more drier type of a scenario. And if this does come off, you can see there's going to be a lot of these brown colours across the map indicating drier than average conditions. However, it is worth noting in the southeast just here, that shade of brown is slightly lighter. So indicating still drier than average conditions, but perhaps not quite as dry as the rest of Britain. So indicating that, that low pressure that was sort of expected to be somewhere to the south might just linger a little longer in southeastern parts. So this week is definitely one to watch. Now, in terms of temperature, the last couple of days have been slightly cooler than average. But if you like the warmth and the sunshine, you'll be happy to note that that uh, air mass temperature does dip above average, average being the dotted line for the time of year. And that does bring itself back above average as we go towards sort of Thursday, Friday kind of time. And for the rest of the sort of two week period ahead, that red uh, line showing the average of the ensemble members staying above that dotted line. So indicating that things will be slightly uh, closer to average, if not slightly warmer than average for the time of year as we go further ahead. And this again is seen in the temperature anomaly map for our monthly forecast. Lots of these pink colours across the map indicating those above average temperatures. But once again, we've got to mention southeastern England, which is just closer to normal. Those white colours there indicating it might not be quite as far above average. And again, this is to do with that area of low pressure that could just stay a little bit closer to those, area of, uh, those areas at times. So bringing those cloudier skies and perhaps a more northeasterly flow as well. So helping those areas to feel a little bit cooler or elsewhere temperatures will be slightly further above average. Now as we go into week three um, it looks like there's not really much change in the forecast. We've still got higher than average pressure out to the west and ridging across Britain so suggesting that continuation of the settled feel of the weather and indeed those brown colours continuing to be across the map although again you will notice that southeastern Britain does tend to avoid this so closer to the normal conditions but still expected to be dry on average. Just do take this with a pinch of salt and indeed with the temperatures as well looking remarkable remarkably similar um, with still a lot of those pink colours so indicating temperatures will be slightly above average but some whites in there too. Now week four really not much in the way of change we've still got this idea of um, high pressure ridging across us so helping to keep things on the more settled side of things still got those brown colours across the map indicating things will be drier than average too. Um, and those temperatures as well looking remarkably the same. So I think the general idea over the next couple of weeks is slightly more on the settled side of things, slightly more on the warmer side of things. So to summarise, over the next few days, we've got a ridge of high pressure gradually moving southwards. So it'll bring some drier and brighter conditions. However, this will be followed by some frontal systems, so bringing in spells of showery rain and something more heavy and persistent at times as well as we go into the weekend. So becoming quite unsettled. Then as we go towards the weekend, that area of low pressure will move its way southwards while high pressure starts to build across the northwestern parts. And then into the following week, it's all about how those two areas of high and low pressure behave as to whether uh, high pressure dominates conditions and we become more settled or whether we still remain in this low pressure dominated situation. So decreasing confidence, particularly into next week, but as we go further ahead as well. But the general idea is that we'll be staying drier than average and slightly warmer than average too. Thank you for watching this, this week's video. As always, we'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you.